Hello everyone, this is my Hannah inspired Pretty Little Liars Lush Bath Cocktail. This is going to be a very candy scented pink bath with a little bit of citrus bite. That's exactly how I think Hannah is. She's the one blonde of all four girls, but she's not your typical blonde, so she's kind of your blonde with bite. So, let's get right into the cocktail. First, we have the Think Pink Bath Bomb, which is very vanilla. Actually, whenever they describe it, they say vanilla with a bite, and that's kind of how I got the idea for this cocktail for Hannah. And I just love picking out the ones with the blue flowers. I think those are the prettiest. And so this is just has Tonka Absolute in it and very vanilla candy scented, and it has confetti hearts inside. So it has a fun little surprise inside. And it is a smaller bath bomb, so it's going to be more affordable. Then for the bubble bar, we're going to be using creamy candy, which is kind of the sister smell of Rockstar soap. And this I'm just going to be using probably a half or third of. And this is just very candy scented too. They describe this as bubble gum, but I don't really think it's bubble gum scented. It has its very distinct smell, but it is very sweet and candy like. Also on the website, they say that this is the friend you're always delighted to see. And that's totally what I think whenever I smell this. And I think that's what all the girls think about Hannah. Then I'm also going to be pulling in a sunny side. I'm just going to use like a third of this or maybe a fourth even just for that little citrus bite and also so we can have some sparkles in here. I think that'll be really pretty. I love pink and gold together. So I think that'll be great. Then for the bath melt we have mm, melting marshmallow moment and this has marshmallow and marigold and chamomile. It basically smells like a pink cupcake. And I thought this would be good to describe all the flashbacks they have in the show to, um, to Hannah's eating disorder. But it seems like mostly, for the most part, she's overcome that, so that's great. But Allison definitely didn't help her pick up any good habits as far as that is concerned. Then for my soap, I have two options. I have the Godmother soap which is very sweet and candy floss scented and it smells like snow fairy. And then I have Rockstar, which smells like creamy candy. So this is probably my favorite out of both of those. I just think this one is a little creamier than Godmother. And then for shower gel and shampoo, I'm going to be using snow fairy. It says fabulously fruity candy floss pink and sweet as sugar shower gel. To smell good enough to eat this Christmas, wash your hair and body with this sparkling seasonal must have. And I definitely stocked up on enough of this to have it all year long because I just love having that candy scented shower gel and shampoo whenever I have a candy bath cocktail. So then definitely the strawberries and cream, American cream will go great with this because it makes me think of strawberries obviously and I'm thinking of like a decadent kind of smell. And I definitely think that Hannah is a decadent character. Um, I'm kind of thinking about the very beginning of season one when you're learning all about how she likes to steal things and has very expensive taste and the whole money backstory with her mom stealing money so they can keep having the life they're accustomed to. So anyway, I thought American Cream would be good for that. And also, I think that this smells very nice and expensive. The Vanilla Delight. It says, our rich vanilla and almond lotion made with cocoa butter, coconut oil, and masses of sweet comforting vanilla will soften and scent your skin beautifully. And out of a lot of different products, this stays on my skin for probably a good day. I can still smell this scent, so I really love that about it. Also, I'm going to be shaving my legs today, so I'm going to be using the Sugar Babe Sugar Scrub. This just has a light, sweet scent to it. 
But what I do is I have another one of these that's completely crushed up in a massage bar tin. And so I just get out a little handful that can probably fill my palm up, probably like this much. And then I put some Snow Fairy into it just so it can make a paste. And then I rub it all over my legs to exfoliate before I shave. And that really makes my legs really smooth afterwards. Then I'm going to be using the Bubblegum Lip Scrub, which tastes just like Snow Fairy smells. And then I'm going to be finishing with the Snow Fairy Lip Tint. For my candle today, I'm going to be burning a scent shot from Candles by Victoria. It's Sweet Angel Dust, which is very sweet smelling and candy floss scented. And yes, very good to go with this bath. Then if you noticed, I, I did my nails today to match my Hannah cocktail. Because I just love Hannah, and so I thought that this would be great. So this is actually probably a limited edition color that's not available anymore. It's called Ice Cream Cake. Ice Cream Cake. Um, but you could definitely look for a color like this. Um, probably that's in all year round collections of any kind of nail polish. And then I always use my base coat of Nail Envy to help my nails stay strong. And then the Seche Vite for my top coat so that it lasts a long time. If you notice the nail color I had on before lasted like a good week before I even took it off. So I really recommend that top coat. It's wonderful. Um. Just if you're wanting a massage bar, I just thought I'd pull in a couple other options for you in case you're at home today and you don't want to have to leave and you want to take a nice bath. Maybe you could finish with the Shimmy Shimmy Massage Bar so you could be sparkly. Maybe you're going out tonight clubbing and you want to look all sparkly. Yeah, I'm not a big club person if you could tell by the way I just said that. <laughs> and then the Strawberry Feels Forever Massage Bar might be a fun way to end this too. I got this in a gift set in the buy one, get one free, keep it fresh sale. And it's funny how lightly colored this is, how much it fades. But it's not really old, but it's just funny how much the color fades so fast. Like this one was one of those two, and it, I don't think you can really tell on camera, but it has a very weird shade. So, I also just looked at the Lush UK website because, of course, I'm getting antsy for the Valentine's Day products. And they're actually available in the UK right now. They just came out with them in the past few days. They're not available in the US yet. So, I'll just wait and be patient. But, it looks like the only bath bomb they have out is the Frog Prince this year, which I'm sad. It's my first Lush Valentine's Day. So I was looking forward to having some X-Factor just because I love how blue it makes your water. Because I got one off eBay and loved that about it. Then um, they have a massage bar, like a love potion massage bar. And this new soap that's called Sweetheart Soap. It sounds like it's going to be a little sweeter than the love soap. Um, trying to remember what else. Looks like they have a new perfume. And I'm probably forgetting one thing. I put it on my Twitter as I was looking everything up. I do have a Twitter I just started yesterday that's the same name as the name of my channel. So it's Vintage Chic 1927 And I'll put a link down below if you want to start following me. Just some fun stuff I thought I could, you know, be writing about as I'm getting videos ready and, you know, making lush runs and different beauty things. So... Please follow me and I'll follow you back. I love Twitter, so I thought I'd make a YouTube one. So, anyway, oh, I just realized I'm going to use my Super World Unknown because it's my good, sweet perfume today that smells like cotton candy and apples and a day at the fair. And I'm probably going to be watching my season two on demand I have from Amazon right now probably watch an episode or two of that. I'm like on the fourth or fifth episode of season two. So I will see you guys in the bath. 
Okay, so we're in the bath. We're going to start by putting in the melting marshmallow moment, just a fourth of it. And the Think Pink Bath Bomb. This is a very fast fizzer. Also, I always put my bubble bars in during this time. This one, my half of my creamy candy was still very, very, very moist, even though it had been halved for a while. And then this is only a fourth of sunny side. I decided the citrus bite, I didn't want to be very strong today. I want it mostly to be sweet vanilla candy smelling. Also, just a little announcement, my 25 subscriber contest does end tomorrow. So, the way it looks right now is I have a little over 200 subscribers now, which is amazing and unbelievable. So I'll probably open up another contest when I get to 250. So when I get to 250 subscribers, I'll open up another giveaway. And I'll make it open to U.S. and Canada residents. So tell your friends to subscribe to my channel so I can get that next giveaway going as soon as possible. Okay, this bath already is very pink and smells amazing. Let's hit the jets. So there we go. This is our pink with a little bit of gold luster candy scented bath. The Hannah inspired Pretty Little Liar slash bath cocktail. I can't wait to jump in. This smells so good. Let me know if you try it and what you think and also any other requests. I'm starting to get a lot of requests which is great because then I can start to see a pattern if more than one person likes something then I'll definitely get that going like more than one person started to suggest this one, so then I did this whole series. There's also a few others that just one person has suggested, but I really have some good ideas for already, so I'll probably just go ahead and do them. So, doesn't hurt to just throw one out there because you never know, that could be the next cocktail. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.